What's going on YouTube, Jason right here. So in today's video, we have some important news about downgrades on iOS. And of course, we got a new tool available for us to use. Future Restore scripting here has been released by developer 80036ND. And he posted, quote, Future Restore script, an all-in-one script to downgrade Apple devices with SHSH2 blobs. Supported devices include the iPhone 5S, 7, 7 Plus, 10, iPad Air 1, iPad Mini 2, iPad 6th generation 2018, iPad Mini 3, and the iPad 7 generation which is 2019. Now the script is available here on GitHub and it's basically consisting on future restore, a couple of files and of course the uh, install main and restore sh scripts. Now it's important to read everything in here, it also gives you indications on how to use it. So basically what this does is to take future restore and make it easier for newcomers in the community to use it. So you probably know that if you want to restore with future restore, you need to set, for example, various flags and minus D minus F or restore or erase or whatever. And you need to set manually the path to the IPSW, the path to the build manifest, the path to the SHSH blobs and stuff like that in a very, very weird and long command in the terminal, which looks like this. Basically, you're going to have to do that very well. Otherwise, you're going to screw your device and of course the restore will fail. But what this tool in here does is to take all that and make it much, much simpler for you. You just have to download this and in here you're going to have to put your SHSH2 blobs so you do need them. They look like this and um, you basically get the SHSH2 blob. You download the no app nonce one in here and it's basically a file. And you're going to have to rename that according to the instructions in here to blob.shsh2. So that's why it's important to read this in here. I'm going to link it in the description down below. Then you're going to have to download the IPSW file to which you're trying to restore and rename it to restore.ipsw and put it in the same folder and then all you have to do is to connect your device and run the script. It's much easier and quicker for those of you who are new in the jailbreak community than just having to mess with various parameters and flags and paths and stuff like that which can introduce errors and you may screw your device. Now some important things to be known in here you do need to have shsh blobs for the script to work the downgrades are possible and this does take advantage of the checkmate as well to basically Put your device in pawn dfu mode so for example if you go ahead in here in the folder you can see that the main script in here when you open it does tell you exactly what it does but it will try to put the device in the pawn dfu mode so you will be able to basically take advantage of that exploit and of course this sets the knowns automatically you don't need any jailbreak in order to be able to set the knowns which has been a problem for quite a while before we had checkmate which is actually a very powerful exploit so this will set the knowns from the blob for you which means that you no longer need a known setter and you don't need to be jailbroken to be able to perform the downgrade. However, the SEP and the baseband still have to match. You still have to have compatible SEP and basebands as it says in here and this will wipe all your data so if you're trying to downgrade with this method it would be a very good idea to create a backup using either iTunes or with Finder in macOS Catalina. And also as I said this does require you to have saved SHSH blobs which means that if you never use TSS Saver or any other method to save your blobs you will not be able to downgrade even if the SEP and basement are compatible. The blobs, when you save them, look like this, and as you can see, I have them for various iOS versions. Unfortunately, you can only save blobs while the version is still signed. So, for example, iOS 13.3 is the only one signed for the moment. But if I wanted to downgrade to 13.2, for example, even if the SEP and basement are compatible, I wouldn't be able to do so because I don't have the blobs saved for that. But yeah, what this tool does is to basically make it easier for the newcomers in the jailbreak community to use Future Restore without having to mess with various parameters and paths. And and various flags and stuff like that because future restore itself is actually quite complicated if you run it you can see how complicated it can get so as you can see here these are basically all the flags that you need to set the minus b minus p minus m minus s minus D, minus W, minus U, minus T. So these have to be set properly with paths and stuff like that. And you have to set all of them correctly, otherwise your restore will fail. Well, in this case, this tool does everything for you automatically. You just have to place your IPSW in here and your blob. And of course, connect your device and run the script. So that's basically all you need to do. So when you do it, you just have to ch mode plus X the script in here, restore.sh, and then of course you have to cd into this folder in here and run dot slash restore.sh. And of course it will start everything for you. For example, it will ask you if you're ready to restore, you press Y, and of course it will ask you to enter the generator, you enter it, connect your device, and it will do everything for you. But this one allows you to do it in a much simpler way. So if you're a beginner in the jailbreak community, it's definitely pretty useful if you're trying to downgrade. If you have any jailbreak questions or any downgrade questions, check out our 
forum jailbreak central in here and i will be able to answer your questions and of course you can also check the news thank you for watching i am geosnow till the next time peace out